up in an attic taking out a brown turd goodman piece of junk good riddance yeah so whew. man sweat my balls off started today at 4 a.m now i'm doing this after work for a friend here is another thing that jackass builders do instead of just using wood trim to hold the scuttle lid up that you can pop out when you want to replace the furnace or air handler but no, he's got to use this crown, this rounded uh, drywall that they roll up with metal and backing and everything. It's a pain in the ass. So what I'm doing is just trying to cut this as straight as possible through the metal and everything. That way I could take this out with one piece, put it back in and cock it. And she could paint it. <laughs> Hopefully look like something. Dude, that's ridiculous. See, your, your maximum width is 22 and a half inches, which is usually what's between the trusses. But then these jackasses, look how much they took. Half inch, another half inch on each side. So they took over two inches away on all dimensions. Just ridiculous. Oh man, what a bunch of work. Cut that edge of a rounded drywall out carefully. So I'll be able to put it back. So check this out. The only good Goodman is a dead Goodman. So I'm putting this, uh, basically a ream unit thermal zone in here up in this attic, and it's been real fun. But hey, check this out. I have my uh, micron gauge inside with a vacuum pump outside. Look at that. 340 microns it's running right now. <laughs> yeah, I think those welds are good. The other thing I did was I uh, also flushed these lines with RX-11 which uh, I bet you most people don't flush the lines when they upgrade from 22 to 410. Yet on this unit, had been a burnout in the past, so I definitely wanted to flush those lines. I am almost done installing this thermal zone, which is basically a ream rud unit. One reason to pick this over a Goodman is, uh, well, awesome things like this. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Nice fit. Look at this. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to have that <laughs> for the junk that is Goodman? Same thing on the blower compartment. Comes off. Nice connections right there, huh? Yeah, that's how you do it. So this is uh, basically a side job for somebody I know. Of course, work knows I'm out here. But uh, look at that, down to 200 microns. I got the vacuum pump running out there. I think uh, that system is tight. Dang. So, uh, people probably talk crap about that flu. They do that a lot here. It's probably not to code to a lot of areas. But, uh, you know, I don't really haven't installed furnaces since the late 90s when I was installing. So, uh, we use the plenums. You know, this is for somebody I know. Like I said, this is my little connection for the uh, micron gauge. The drains come out at an angle on this uh, thermal zone unit. So, they really want the water to drain. Didn't have much room reusing the secondary, so I put the trap right there. I put a clean out on top of the trap. I always do that. If I put in a new trap, I put a clean out before it so I can blow it out. So anyway, time to take off this mic on gauge and get the system started up. Okay, I just did a live video, but uh, just for my edit. On my video of changing out a brown turd goodman piece of junk. Got to show you the end product here. I use thermal zone instead of a. I was going to use a Bryant. <laughs> Bryant uses a ridiculous metal cover that you have to screw over the blower, and then one big long cover with a notch. It's a notch that goes around the flue pipe. It's ridiculous. And when I saw that, I was like, yeah, forget that. So uh, for service, you know, I went with the thermal zone, which I get a good deal on them, which is a ream unit basically, and it's got these. Uh, helps you open that all the way. Got these nice panels like this. Curved so they're real strong. They stay square. Oh, yeah. Just goes on like this. And close the two cup. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty much done. I used death tape. I didn't use mastic or anything, but it gets the job done. It's still an improvement over the uh, the Goodman that was in here. 
someday I might have to get back in here and get some strap on that flex back there. But uh, I used, uh, I added this uh, port right here, which I used to apply nitrogen to do the purge when I brazed in these lines. And then I used it for my micron gauge, which you probably saw in the other edit already. We got 210 microns on this baby. So good, tight system. Flushed it with RX-11. This is good. Okay, the moment of truth on the AC unit. As you can see, I'm doing this by a candlelight out here. So I did put a new disconnect on. I was going to use a knife switch style, but my vendor was out. All right, I usually don't like starting these units like this. Let that run for a few minutes. Man, it's already, it's not the quietest model for these, but it's definitely quieter than the Goodman that came out of here. The Goodman that came out of here, it had the reciprocating Bristol in it, and it sounded like ass. So, you know what you don't hear right here? The sound of the AC unit running. <laughs> when that Goodman unit was running, you can hear it throughout the entire backyard. So, nothing special about the compressor, it's just a Copeland off the shelf. But what an improvement over that brown turd Goodman. The one that was there. This one I think also. Oh, yeah, someone added a noise blanket to this one. Yeah, see that? That was something they used to do during warranty. So, if I had more time, I'd use some coil cleaner clean that up, but I'll have to do that another day. I just need a get out of here. It's like, it's probably 8, 8.30 right now, so. Furnace started up. AC started up. No shortcuts. Micron it down to 210. New disconnect, whip. Flushed it. Filter dryer. All that stuff. Yeah. So, job well done. Especially since I didn't put in another Goodman because uh, I wouldn't sell that to anybody.